Deutsche Bank and Standard Chartered Ventures test SWIFT Killer for stablecoins and CBDC. The Universal Digital Payments Network instructs and allows transactions ranging from stablecoins on public blockchains to central bank digital currencies. The Adbin is an interoperability bridge between blockchains while applying battle-tested decentralized digital identity standards to participants, allowing transactions to happen in a bank-friendly and regulated environment. The Adbin currently comprises about 25 organizations, including banks from the U. S. Australia, Latin America and Europe, running around 10 proof-of-concept tests in parallel. Deutsche Bank and Standard Chartered's SC Ventures are testing a system that will allow blockchain-based transactions, stablecoins, and central bank, digital currency CBDCS to talk to one another, taking an approach similar to the SWIFT messaging layer and legacy banking infrastructure. The banks are running a series of test cases, including transferring and swapping USC stablecoins on the Universal Digital Payments Network Open, a permission blockchain system composed of validator nodes run by an alliance of banks, financial, institutions, and consultancies. The system, created by tech consultancy GFT Group and Red Date Technology, co-founder of the Chinese blockchain-based service network BSN, instructs and allows transactions to occur across a spectrum of networks, ranging from stablecoins on public blockchains to CBDC. There's a relatively long history in crypto of banks and institutions banding together into consortia to try and agree on the best way to manage blockchain-based transactions in private settings. After some hype, these enterprise blockchains have garnered limited interest thus far. Digital currencies provide both medium and message, questioning the need to run something like swift messages in parallel. The answer, its creators say, is that Adbin acts both as an interoperability bridge between various types of blockchain networks while also applying battle-tested decentralized digital identity standards DIDs to participants, allowing for a bank-friendly and regulated environment. The Adbin is a network where the affiliation of members is permissioned, but the key thing here is that the transactions themselves are placed onto the underlying infrastructure, which includes permissionless networks, Thorson Newman, CTO of SC Ventures, said in an interview. For instance, when carrying out a cross-border currency transfer, the sending institution takes the tokenized value and transfers it into a smart contract managed by the Adbin, which will then release the intended target currency from that smart contract, Newman said. There's almost a DeFi type capability within a permission network. It's important to note this is done without a central organization setting out something like a swift message format, he said. The Adbin currently comprises about 25 organizations running around 10 proof of concept tests in parallel, according to Stefan Shasher, Adbin lead at GFT Group. The group includes banks from the USA, Australia, Latin America and Europe, he said. The Adbin transaction nodes are where the magic happens being connected to currency systems and currency pools, Shasher said in an interview. The way to envision it is each currency needs a transaction of its own, so to speak. This could be central banks in the future, owning transactions and operating CBDC or other financial institutions or any other organization that is handling digital currencies, bringing it all into a regulated environment.